Hi, YouTubies. This is Lori. Just wanted to come on and say Merry Christmas and show you this little mini album that I made. It is called a Passport Album and it comes from a Sizzix guy. It's a gift card holder. It started off much smaller and it just got thicker and bigger and ended up like this. So this is, um, it's kind of fun. It goes, it's going to go to my sister and um, a couple years ago I gave her a selfie and uh, mine doesn't work anymore but hers works just fine. So these, this is the right size for the selfie photos. So I'm going to show it to you. It ties with a string on this um, button and this button is on top of a brad and um, I just glued it on top with some um, beacons 3 and one and uh, all the uh, everything on the front is a die pretty much everything on the front is a die and um, that's it for the front oh uh, to make this, you do need a Sizzix die, and it's called a Passport die, and it's one of the long dies. And uh, you will need chipboard for the cover, and craft text for the spine, if you want to make it like mine. You could use very thin leather for the spine. Anything you want, you could use paper. Whatever you want is what you use. But you need something that is bendy and will not crack. Uh, and this is some wax. Uh, thread that I purchased on eBay and then I realized how easy it is to make wax thread so I won't be buying it anymore but if you want to buy it you can buy it on eBay and um, the paper that I used is a very old line called uh, uh, what was it called I can't remember what it's called but it's from Glitz and that is all there is to the paper and that is all there is to the cover. This is an old Sizzix die. This is a Lawn Fawn die. Um, these are Sizzix, uh, the snowflakes. They were new this year. And this is a border punch that I forgot to, um, you know, uh, use a distress ink on it so it didn't um it doesn't pop like it should but it's okay okay excuse me this is the inside the the front cover just a tag and um this came from uh, my penny black uh tag the the coffee beans are a Sizzix six foot die I don't know and another heart it's just a, a, a long heart punch and it makes those um this is more of the paper and I think I might go over those with glossy accents I'm not sure and uh, this is a stamp I tried to do a shadow and then fussy cut it and I think it looked okay it's cute and the next page is um, more tags and um, some little uh, journal spots and they're sticky back so all she has to do is um, you know tuck them somewhere stick them somewhere just write on them and stick them and it's just regular uh, notebook paper and um, then I just put the sticky paper on the back And more hearts, but cut in um, some leftover paper from a different paper pad. And I made coffee stained paper. And this one is a, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, like a gloss medium. It's Liquitex and it's a gloss medium. And I just um, embossed the paper and went over it with that gloss medium. It's like a varnish. 
And that one just says, always time for coffee. Coffee bean culture. Espresso yourself. And, um, you know, a really pretty embossed rose. And then I, I varnished this side of it. And just more really pretty um, coffee paper. And that is, um, what is his name? I like him too. <coughs> a Tim Holtz uh, stamp. And that one says made with love. And just saying, um, the, this, the signature covers are made from, um, grocer paper, the green grocer paper, and it's 65 pound, and, um, the reason why I chose it is because it is not waxed, and so it won't crack. It's really important to get paper for this, these, these types of albums is very important to use natural fiber paper that doesn't have wax on the outside of it. And that's just some of the paper. And then this is the beginning of the second signature. And it says, Coffee and Friends make the perfect... Coffee and Friends make the perfect blend. And you open it up and there is a little um, journal spot. And it just tucks right there. But there's a place for a photo, a place for a photo. Lots and lots of little places for photos in here. Oh, and this is a tag. Slides in there. Just one tag like this. Man, that light is really bad, isn't it? Great, great, great light. So there is that page. And we will... That's not a page. That's the cover of the, the, the second signature. And then this one is just some um, hexagons. You can tuck something behind the little coffee things right there. Coffee beans and a coffee cup. And another uh, varnished page with some beans. And it says, From the Kitchen of. And that one says, Family Favorite Recipes. And another varnished page. I thought it kind of looked like a splatter. And then this one. Another Tim Holtz stamp and some really beautiful coffee staining on that one. And this one is a place to tuck a photo up underneath there. Just tuck it right under. Like so. And then uh, a little coffee cup tag. Is that better? I don't know. Maybe darker is better at this point. So there is that. And then this one is just some lawn fawn stamps and dies. And um, the big spoon is by... I can't remember. Just a big spoon. And this page is also varnished and it has um, silverware on it. So cute. And that side is also varnished and distressed with stain. And a little stamp there. And that's it. And this uh, is stamped baked with, baked with love by. And that is the end of the second signature. And this is the beginning of the third. There is this, and this pulls out in just a little journal spot. And you open it, and it has a little place to tuck the tag. And that's there. That is no better. Ah! I don't know what to do about the lighting. It's night time, so there's no light, and there's only light until like 4 o'clock at night this time of year, so, I mean, that's it. Um, this one is just a little tag that says that, and, um, it's 
tucks in and the back side tucks in and this page says the good stuff and this one is just another embossed page but there's no varnish on it because I put the shiny spoon and behind the shiny spoon I put um, Wink of Stella and you can tuck stuff be behind each one of those and a muffin and the muffin comes from um, Stephanie Bernard it was a gift she gave us and you can tuck like a little um a little um you know just something to write on right there or you can maybe tuck a picture there I don't know and here's another page to write on and writing and a photo could go here it's another Tim Holt stamp I lost the little bean stamp I don't know what I did with it the little bean bag stamp coffee bag stamp this one is um well this one is a lawn fawn one and this one is um a my favorite things the donut and there is this because i started running out of the paper so i had to start adding a few other things and so you can tuck behind that i love that embossing folder it's one of my most favorite embossing folders the other side that is like my favorite. Isn't that so pretty? I love that one. A little swooshy thing. Another touch spot. Um, a little stamp. There's the end of that um, um, signature and that's where I'm going to tuck her gift card is right there. And this is the back page and that's the end. And that just tucks under there and there's the string is there and it just shuts like so and the back looks like that so that is the little coffee mini that I made to house the gift card for my sister that's it. Y'all have a very, very Merry Christmas. See y'all before New Year's. Bye.